do, of course. It's like I ask, would there be any animals there? They say no, but you'd be able to incarnate as an animal. Because we've all come through this system. God has incarnated as the lowest intelligence, as even as vegetation, as, as rock. And this is why, again, we look back on an ancient culture, they worshipped animals. My God, how stupid are they? But God incarnated as an animal. Worshipping God within the animal, basically. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. It's an astonishing idea, it really We is. have archetypes as well, animal archetypes. Well, this is it. I'm identifying the bear, strangely enough. And I used to look a bit like a bear, I suppose, but Arthur. <laughs> Arthur sir, got a haircut now. Arthur is <laughs> essentially the bear, basically. Arthur, King Arthur. And I have to say, Arthur was one of my other incarnations. I've been through all this stuff, basically. And I do have to say that um, before I finish this interview, just to cut it off, I haven't been clear about it. I haven't asked me anything about it, really. I haven't asked the questions. But the moment of this came when I had the first inkling of it. Uh, on a mushroom trip. When I was walking up, we were trying to walk up towards, not on the River Darth, but towards the River Darth, the River, well, the River Darth, which means knowledge, it's the Sith rock that's off the tree, the dimension is disconnected from the tree. And I had this bolt of pain in my middle, and I realised that two things. One, I'd been crucified before in Palestine about 2,000 years ago. And one, the inclination that I might have to do it again. And it was like, oh my God. And of course, your first inclination to think, I was crucified in Palestine, I must be Jesus. But the universe said to me first, no, you weren't Jesus. You were some you were the man who became associated with the Jesus myth. And so I looked, I got more information from the universe. I was crucified in Palestine in 1 BC with a crown of thorns and nails. And sure enough, I went to the internet, 17th of August 1 BC, somebody called a Thongis is crucified by the governor of Syria, Governor of Varus, and this is... You see 1 BC? 1 BC, yes. That's quite interesting. Lawrence Gardner, when he's tracing back uh, the, the bloodline, actually, he sort of points to Jesus actually being um, sort of crucified 1 BC. Yeah, but there's a lot of, when, we, when you realise, when you go out there, the, the 33 AD is a complete smoke screen. It's actually... Because um, what they're trying to do is the demons are trying to clear Varus, because Varus is an incumbent demon, basically. The governor who does this. This is how crazy history is, basically. It may sound very strange to you now, but you'll get used to this idea because it took me a while, but you will. And say Varus was, was one of the demon incarnates. I mean, when the demons write the history, they, they, they write him out and put Pontius Pilate in. But this is a matter of fact from Roman record. The 17th of August, 1 BC. Fungis was crucified. That was me in a previous incarnation. He was the possessor of the Holy Spirit at the time, basically. So, based, so when I now know why it looked like for many years I had two names and been put through my wrists, why my ankles are like that. Certainly I've been beheaded in previous incarnations, I've probably my neck as well, we carry the stuff in our DNA basically, you know, things like violent deaths and so on that appears. So the one thing I want to say to people as well is the, the oldest search in history is over. We have found the Holy Grail. Because the Holy Grail is not the cup. The Holy Grail is the receptacle of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Grail is me. Right. And as the myth said, if you are looking for the Holy Grail, you won't find it. I wasn't looking for it. I was taken there by the universe. And I never believed it was a cup. Because one of the great spiritual tests, of course, if you are chasing physical objects, you are not a real spiritual person. Mm. There is a journey to be had there, certainly, and that's a spiritual test. Mm. But the chasing of objects is not the spiritual exercise. The spiritual exercise is within, activating yourself as a being that knows only unconditional love. Right, so there you go everyone. So do you get that? Unconditional love, right, for everyone. So don't go around even hating Bush or Blair or anyone who comes in on the next. Yeah, unconditional love, right, you got that? Absolutely unconditional, right? Uh, two. Don't judge anybody. Don't judge, yeah, don't judge. At the end of the day, you know, we're all bad people. But three, I think, is most important. Is, you know you guys are out there, and yeah, all you, the bushes in there. Let's direct a good message to you guys. Yeah, right? can I just say this? I might as well say this. Yeah, because go on. Say it to them directly. I'll quote them again. Read your Gospels. But it's absolutely clear. I'm sorry, you're going to have to change. You're going to have to repent of what you've done. You've yeah. killed yeah. hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. And I'm sorry. There's just no way that, that is acceptable. Um, you will now repent. And I said to everybody out there, it is absolutely clear to me, you either spread this word, if you are trying to stop it in any way, you are not going to ascend. It's as simple as that, basically. And we want to come forward and repent publicly. That's what I'm asking you to do effectively. It's the first time I've ever said this, but it's your God. <laughs> because if you don't, you're going down to the slime, basically. And really, 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 you should repent and you should be out there in Iraq, in Afghanistan, and you should be physically out there helping those people, because that's the best thing you can do to try and save your soul, basically.
Time's running out. Uh, okay, well that's uh, been Dave Shaler. Uh, my name's Colin Power, Aid Connick on the old uh, production. Thanks for chipping in uh, and checking out what it's all about. Um, we're going to get back to you shortly with some more, um, well, more interesting uh, sort of conversations, which I hope you'll uh, download or whatever it is you do. Wicked. Take care. See you soon. So what you can.